Right, it's about half eight in the morning. We're outside the services uh, just before on the way to Brighton. Get badging. We're going to Brighton. It's an early one today. Last away game for a very long time, but we're going to be up for it. Up the villa and uh, yeah. The local fields of Brighton and now there's a stadium. Wow. Which is impossible to get to because it's in the middle of a field. Yeah. Where are the dual carriageways? Right guys, so we're here outside the stadium of the Amex today. We played Brighton on the last game in six or seven weeks before the World Cup. The last uh, away game for Villa in ages. I'm very excited today. Brighton currently sits seventh in the league. I think we're about 15th, but it's going to be a tough game today. Uh, I think Brighton have scored, what, 10 goals in their last three games. They've had some good results this year. They've drew 3-3 to Liverpool. They beat Arsenal last week and Brighton, they score a lot of goals. We can see a lot of goals. So it will be interesting today. Today, I, th I think it's going to be a draw. We've got the confidence with the new manager uh, and everything going on with Unai Emery. So I'm going to hope for a 2-2 draw, 1-1 draw today. But Brighton have got some great players. Their manager's got them playing some great football i think it will be a good game today 2-2 two -two. we're gonna get in the stadium now come on the villa today also marks remembrance sunday the second sunday of november where we remember those who fought in the war and still fight in the war today to help save their country today we remember the brave soldiers that still do that uh, because without them and without their families we wouldn't be able to do things like come to these football games and have the freedom to do all these things so today we'll wear a poppy to remember those uh, brave soldiers and happy remembrance sunday right today what's gonna happen today we're going to win 1-0. 1-0, who's going to score the goal? Uh, Wemby Watkins. Hey, Wemby Watkins. Uh, Mink. Mink. Yeah. Mink. Do you like Unai Emery? Absolutely. You love Best our... manager we've ever had for... since... Atkinson. Yeah. Nice. Let me show you this. Show you this, yeah? What is this? McFarland, number nine. Nice. Oh, the Villa. He was number 11, but <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> the Villa. Not the Villa. <laughs> We're in the stadium, last 90 minutes before the World Cup. Come on, the Villa. Come on, gonna win. 2-1, come on. Right, so we're a grand total of one minute into the game. Martinez has made a mistake and McAllister just smashed it in. We're literally about, I wasn't recording, we're about 30 seconds into the game. What a prat! And Brighton are 1-0 up. It was a really bad mistake from mine. As the Villa players are complaining, but it's 1-0 already. It's literally 20 seconds. I weren't recording, so... Penalty. Come on, come on. Here we go, Danny Ibs take the penalty to make it 1 1. Don't miss. Dinier's actually been quite solid at the back, to be fair. Oh, go on, Bella. Oh, look at us. Look at us, pass the ball. Oh, okay, maybe not. At half time, Brighton 1, Villa 1. What a rubbish first half. Brighton have had more corners than we've had counter attacks. I don't think any, we haven't really done anything throughout the game apart from our penalty. Oh, it's a good play from John McGinn. It's a good uh, 
good build up apart from that we've not really had any chances Brighton haven't really had any clear cut chances I think it, Brighton probably deserved to be winning but overall I think it's probably a fair result I don't know Second, a bit of a crap first half to be fair second half definitely needs to improve we definitely need one or two more goals Unai Emma needs to get in to them players at half time so we'll see what happens we need a big second half to beat Brighton because they're a very good side hopefully we do it come on the Villa come on the Villa yeah It's 2 1 Villa. We're looking a little bit shaky. We're playing alright. Benji's come on, he's done well. He's played well throughout the game. But we need to keep this lead bright on a good side. We can't give him space. It's a little bit shaky, but I think we'll be okay. Come on, the Villa. Come on, we're hanging on. Five minutes left, we're hanging on. Come on. Go on, Bailey. Oh. Jesus, you can tell we're in Brighton, look how many seagulls in this. How many is that? Don't know, but Brighton on the counter attack. I don't like seagulls. I don't like conceding. Three. Ashley Young so much. Oh, baby. Right, so the final away game, the final game before the World Cup has ended. Aston Villa 2, Brighton 1. It wasn't the most exciting games and the best quality of games, but in that second half, <coughs> Villa really did play well. Danny Ings obviously got his two goals and had his best performance probably of the season. And we just we just defended really well, just like we did against United a couple of weeks ago at home. We just we uh, soaked up the pressure that Brighton gave us and we just defended really well. The first half was a bit dull from both sides and nothing much happened, but that second half, we did deserve the win. It's great to go into the World Cup break with that three points. I think we are 12th in the league now. So Unai Emery's coming in, he's making a difference. And uh, what a game, what an atmosphere it was. The Brighton, they were all right. I think they, they defended us well, but obviously they couldn't keep us out and... Yeah, so it's a great atmosphere. If you guys did enjoy, please hit a like because no match day vlogs for a while now. We will be uploading some videos, however, in the World Cup. I'm going to the Neaton Borough View Villa on Tuesday. If you guys haven't booked tickets for that, they're really cheap and you should go do it if you're not going to the World Cup, obviously. Also, yeah, watch out for videos during the World Cup because I will make some, but subscribe, like, and share. Brighton fans, please feel free to share. See you all very soon. Up the Villa. Come on, limbs, carnage, all that. Let's go. See you soon. <laughs>